I'm not sure if you're gonna like me after today's movement march challenge. We are planking for a minute, five times. Let's go. Oh boy, y'all. <laughs> I'm a little scared of this one too. We're gonna start on our elbows. So go on and get your plank position. The key is to be as flat as you can be. I hope you've started because I certainly have. So we're gonna move. We're gonna do different positions as we go. If you need to take a break, please take a break, but come right back in and join. If you need to take a break just by like putting a knee down on the ground and not completely giving up or not completely pausing or stopping, that is great too. Do what you need to do, but I want you to challenge yourself. I want you to push yourself. It's hard, but you got it. I promise you, <laughs> we can do this together. Great job. Stay strong as you're doing this. We're not letting our neck drop. All right, neck is straight. We are not letting our booty drop. We're not letting our booty raise. Everything is as straight as can be. If you find yourself starting to slide, check to see if that your elbows and shoulders are straight up and over each other. Those are just my cues to make sure that we are all on the same page as we go. Good job, three, two, one. Don't quit for rolling to the side for a nice little side plank here. Now, several levels. You can just hold it here. Okay, that's, that's perfectly fine. You can extend an arm up and hold it up. I tend to find that to help my balance a little bit if my arm is up, but you do what you feel like you need to do. If this is too challenging, a modification is certainly to drop a foot in front of you, still keeping this hip up. You wanna make sure that your hip is up as much as you can, okay? So if you need to modify at any point, any of those options are excellent, excellent options. Good job, we've got this. Stay strong. Make sure that that shoulder is right underneath or right over top of your elbow. Hold tight, hold tight. Just a few more seconds here, folks. Really good, really good. Come on, we got this. We got this. You can do anything you put your mind to. Anything. Three, two, one, come up. <sighs> to a plank on your hands. After this one. I will give you a little bit of break in this one as we shift to the other side to do the other side plank. So there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Now that we're up on our hands, you want to make sure that now your wrists and your elbows and your shoulders are all in that perfect alignment. Make sure that your feet, okay, that, that your toes are right over your here, your heels are right over your toes. If you find yourself going back like that, check yourself. Make sure that you are in good alignment. Don't drop that head. I know I say these things over and over and over again, but they're super important. We got it, come on. Five, four, three, two. Here's that quick little break. Shake out what you need. Go to your opposite side with the other side plank. Get here on your elbow and up we go. We didn't waste any time, let's go. Whew. You hear me so proud of yourself when you're done with this. I'm like, I was just in plank for five minutes. I was just there. Oh, we got it. We got it. Come on. Can you put your hand up? You can. Remember the modifications. If you need to drop your foot over, you can. Do not drop your hip. Make sure that your hip is still up. It's easy to kind of sink down like this. Make sure that your hip is still up. That's really working the side of your body here. Breathe through it. Tell yourself you can do it. I know you can. Even if you have to take breaks, you're still doing it, right? You're still pushing yourself to limits. You might not have thought possible. Here we go, come on, we got this. <laughs> 10 more seconds in this side plank, then we are gonna finish with a reverse plank. What the heck? You got it. Come on, three, two, one. Drop down for just a second. Legs out in front of you, up. So here, I'm still keeping my elbows, my shoulders, and my wrists in a straight alignment, okay? I'm keeping my body as straight as I can. I'm looking at you, so my head is coming up, but I really want that entire spine to be in perfect neutral alignment. Get your hips up off the ground. If this is too challenging, you certainly can come into the crab sort of position and just get those hips as high up as you can. This is the higher level challenge. Push yourself, you can do it, come on. We've got less than 30 seconds. Lift up your hips. 
We got it. We got it. Come on. Really keep pushing yourself. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard. That means that when you finish, you're going to be even more proud of yourself. You got this. Come on. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. We got it. I'm shaking. My whole body is shaking. But it's saying thank you. Three, two, one. Let it down. Oh, great job. No matter what you know, assistance you needed or what breaks you took, you did it. Great job. See you again tomorrow.